Hey everybody. The other day I was trying to work out how long I'd had my leathers for, uh, so I went back and found some pictures. I bought these in November 2015, which means they are nearly six years old. I would had no idea I'd had them that long, and I thought, right, well this is, seems like a perfect opportunity to take a look at them uh, and let you know what I think of them. Uh, also, to talk about some gloves which I've recently bought, which are also Frank Thomas, um, and I'll be seeing what I think of those in months, years to come. So obviously this is a Frank Thomas uh, two-piece leathers. Uh, it's sort of a summer thing more than a winter thing I'd say for sure, but I actually do wear this all year round and that's something I will say here. Basically I wear the same gear all year round, the only difference is the neck scarf um, and the liner and the jacket, otherwise I wear the same stuff. I just deal with being cold. This is the only jacket I've used in the past nearly six years now. Uh, I don't use the trousers nearly as often. I'm normally wearing rock jeans, um, which I recently did a video talking about, if you want to have a look at those, uh, because leathers are something I fall leathers like this. is something I wear when I'm riding um, a particularly quick biker, for I know I'm, I'm going to be riding in a way that's more likely for me to come off or something like that. Otherwise, I'm happy with Kevlar jeans. So I don't use these nearly as much as I've used the jacket, so you might see a difference in uh, wear. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the jacket first. As you can see, there's a little bit of um, sort of wear of, of the leather along the zip there. Uh, this has bagged a little bit in the stomach from like stretching from when you're lent over. So there's a little bit of bagginess here. Uh, I have got a thinner waist than this is now. Uh, so yeah, there, there is a little bit of bag, but not too much uh, across the belly. The zip's still functioning perfectly. However, these were replaced. I'm gonna have to try and remember which ones were replaced. I think the main zip was replaced, the bottom one was replaced, and the one in the trousers maybe? I'm trying to remember now. There was like two or three main zips that got replaced in the first couple of months of me getting these. Uh, when I bought them, they broke. I took them back to JNS. Obviously, they're the people who sell uh, Frank Thomas stuff. It's like their own brand. And they sent them off back to the Frank Thomas people. They repaired them, sent them back to me in about a week. Uh, with the zips all done for free. So although yes, I did have some problems with the zips in the early days, once they've been fixed, for the years after that they've been absolutely perfect and the other zips on it have been fine. Um, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, let me see if I can find out what the model is. Style? Nothing. <laughs> Frank Thomas. The thing is, this will definitely no longer be this jacket itself be available, but a similar one or you know, a, an evolution of this jacket will be available because it just says Frank Thomas. The back protector is not standard, that's something I bought separately and I do advise you get something better than what comes in these jackets uh, as standard. They're more like those fake credit cards in wallets. Get something that's a bit better, multi-layered or something like that. But yeah, the inside is uh, held up perfectly fine. Uh, this hasn't sort of torn or stretched or anything like that. This is the liner for it that just hooks in uh, with some poppers here into the jacket at the back. I'm not going to put it in because I don't want it in right now. Uh, and it also zips in throughout the outside of it, so it zip all the way around. Again, that only gets used throughout the winter, but that still looks good as new. Uh, the quality of the leather is really nice as well. It's one of the things I looked for when I bought my jacket, because I found so many of the jackets, the leather just felt way too thin. Uh, this has got a really good sort of gauge, thick leather on it, which has worn very nicely. It is extremely supple now, as you can see. It wasn't like that to start with. It had more of a, it almost had like a matte, coating to it when I first got it, if I remember rightly. It looked very sort of satiny, opposed to shiny like this, but over time it's obviously buffed up. Uh, there is wear on the elbows in a couple of places. I haven't crashed in this jacket, so I can't speak for that. Uh, none of the stitching in the arms or any of these bits has come apart, and I have had that in old jackets uh, where it comes apart here. Uh, the shoulders are all okay still. Again, just polished and looking kind of aged. I have no problems with that. A little bit of uh, wear around the edges here. There is a padded part at the bottom here, which is quite nice, and that is still very nice and padded. And the leather on the back is, as you can see, it's absolutely fine. Uh, there is the logos for the Frank Thomas that are just hidden. That's something I do also like. It's got the logos, but they're all, they're basically in like a shiny black, so you can only see them in certain lights. So there you go, there is the jacket. I think pretty good, Velcro's still very good. Um, six years, very happy with it. Then for the leather trousers, uh, again, they've, they've stood up very well. There is a couple of things I'll say about these. Um, oh, have I managed to catch that on an exhaust at some point? Looks like I have. There's a slight hot mark there. These stretch nicely all the way around. You know, you've got like stretch panels and stuff here. But there is a band in the middle here around the knee that has no stretch in it, and it's a little bit narrow for my leg. Um, so that's something to mention, but it's not, it's not too bad. 
Uh, but the, the leather's not stretched that much in all these years as well to say, you know, it's very resilient. Uh, the pocket zips and everything are fine. The zips around here have been fine and I don't think they, were they replaced? I don't think those ones replaced, it was only on the jacket side. Uh, the Velcro again, it's all fine. The only thing I would say is these leathers do suffer from arse sag, if you know what I mean. You know, they're kind of like big saggy butt. I've seen some that have been designed in a way that it stops that happening, but these definitely do suffer from that. But then it's from you leaning forward. And when I'm very tall, I do have to lean very far forward. So it's natural for the leather to stretch a bit. But otherwise, again, I have no complaints. Like leg zips, all perfect still. Does it say, yeah, they are YKK. Remember, YKK zips are only as good as how much the person buying them spent. They make all sorts of zips on different quality levels. That is not a guarantee of good zip. I have just noticed that the sort of tailbone pad is totally off center, but I've never really noticed that in six years until now, so not really that fast. I think this set of leathers was about 350 pounds all in when I bought it, something like that, uh, and you know, six years on, I'm still very happy with it and I'll be using it for, you know, years to come probably. So that brings us to the gloves. I've had these about five weeks, I think, maybe four or five weeks. I got them from my local JNS store. Thank you very much to them for uh, helping me pick out a pair because I was, I basically wanted to get some short gloves again because I've been using the MRT gloves up until now. I wanted to try something a bit heavier uh, in the leather build. You know, like the gauntlets I'm known for using, used to be known for using but shorter I've, i'm a convert to shorty gloves i will say this i absolutely love short gloves but I, I want something with a really secure wrist strap and that's something these have got i think these are about 40 pounds at the moment uh, on the jns store uh, they're called the stealths as you can see they've got quite a big amount of um, sort of knuckle protection here it's a sort of semi-hard plastic uh, and then there is a huge amount of padding underneath and these are vented through here and the idea is it helps these are sort of summer gloves uh, vent air into your hand. I do think it looks a bit weird how much that sticks up but when you're riding it it sticks down a bit more and this one seems to have given a bit and doesn't stick up nearly as much. The leather feels like a nice quality. The stitching looks pretty good. It's got a, is that a scaphoid scalp. It's got the, the basically the palm protector that stops you from breaking that bone. Because uh, when you hit the ground, very often people break that part of their hand, wrist. So those help protect that. Because instead of it hitting and gripping, it slides, if I understand it. Uh, the little finger isn't webbed or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, they, they feel nice. They feel comfortable. I've been using them, as I say, for a little while now. And so far, they're good but I can't say much because I've only had them for a few weeks. The only one thing I did have is when I got them new on my right hand, where all these pieces of leather match up is a, like a little round nodule of leather. And basically what it was doing is when I clenched my fist, that little piece of leather was wedging itself right between my little uh, finger joint and it was really painful. So what I did was I put them in some, uh, some warm water for literally just a minute uh, the fingers that is, put them on my hands, gave them a good stretch, and then just continued using them. They're now perfect. Don't do that to expensive gloves. Uh, I'm happy to risk it with these, but yeah, a little bit of warm water softens up the leather, and if you stretch them with your hands, it should mold to your hands a bit better. But yeah, so far, I like them, and for the price, I think they're all right. So you can probably see why my general view of Frank Thomas is actually pretty positive. Uh, I've had a pair of their boots that weren't very good, um, but then I've had a pair of BKS boots that weren't very good. I've had a pair of Oxford bo boots that weren't very good. You know, zips, that's all I'm saying. So yeah, that's why my opinion of Frank Thomas is actually pretty good. And I'd say from what I can see, it's actually pretty well made stuff. And if there is an issue in the first few months or year, I guess, uh, they'll send them off and get them fixed. And once they have been fixed, they've been fine for years. Other people seem to say that they've had nightmares with gear, but I don't, I've not had that experience myself. That's all I can add to this is that for me, it's been good. If you found this video interesting or useful, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here. And if you want to help support this channel, please consider joining my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.